until just when we thought Taraji and Oprah's feud couldn't get no worse, Monique and 50 Cent just entered the chat to expose Oprah for trying to use and manipulate everybody around her into making them do what she wants. This came after Oprah threatened Taraji into backtracking everything she said about her and forcing Taraji to appear in a sit-down interview on her show to do some damage control. Now, for those of y'all who didn't know, 50 Cent and Monique have actually been feuding with Oprah for some years now over blackballing them in the industry and trying to destroy their careers. They've been keeping their foot on her neck ever since, and it looks like they don't have any plans of letting off anytime soon because they dragged Oprah for filth for being greedy and abusing other entertainers to build her own multi-billion dollar empire. So Tyler Perry says to me, listen, you may really want to consider promoting this film because if you get nominated for an Oscar award, your next film is three to five million dollars. And if you win it, your next film is six to eight million dollars. I said, Tyler, who are you talking to? I'm a black woman. Where do they pay those type of salaries, brother? I said, what I cannot do, Tyler, is work for free. I've done what I was supposed to do. I cannot go overseas and do this for free, Tyler. So then he goes on about his spill, you know. I said, well, listen, you can write me the check for me to go overseas. I don't care where the money comes from, but I'm not gonna do it for free. He says, well, I don't believe in giving money away for free. I said, I don't believe in working for free, so we're on the same page. Okay, so in case you somehow missed out on all the mess that's been going down for the last few days, Taraji put Oprah on blast and exposed her for paying her crumbs for her role in The Color Purple. According to Taraji, the initial amount that Oprah offered Taraji was so bad that she almost passed up on starring in the film as a whole. Taraji also also revealed the reason why she took this personal was because Oprah was a black woman. So she was expecting her to stand up for her and do what's right. But Oprah did the opposite. Where's my raise? I haven't, had, I haven't seen a raise in my income since Proud Mary. And almost had to walk away from Color Purple. Yes, ma'am. Who said what? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Because you know what? If I don't take a stand, how am I making it easy for Fantasia and Danielle and Hallie and, and, and Felicia? Then what, why, why am I doing this? If it's all just for me, what the, why are you here? We are to service each other. God is very clever. He put us on this earth and he made us all look different. He made it complicated. We need to figure it out. And we can, and we are. You have to look at, t look at the glass, it's half full. It's always half full. Taraji added fuel to the fire when she did an interview with Oprah's BFF, Gail King, and went into details about what Oprah has been putting her and the other black actors through. And I heard on the street, Taraji, you had the audacity to say you're thinking about getting, stopping acting. We said, stop talking. Hmm. Are you thinking about it? Um... Mm. I'm just tired of working so hard, being gracious at what I do, getting paid a fraction of the cost. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of hearing my sisters say the same thing over and over. Mm -hmm. um, you get tired. Mm -hmm. I hear people go, you work a lot. Yes. Well, have to. Mm -hmm. The math ain't mathin'. I'm tired of hearing that my entire career, 20 plus years in the game, and I hear the same thing, and I see what you do for another production, and when it's time for us to go to bed, you don't have any money. Mm. They play in your face. Mm. 
mm-hmm. and I'm just mm-hmm. supposed to smile and grin and bear it and just keep like mm-hmm. enough is enough. Mm-hmm. Now, while all this commotion was going on, people could not help but point out how similar everything Taraji was going through to what Oprah did to 50 Cent and Monique. See, back when 50 started getting super famous for his music, he wanted to make an appearance on Oprah. This appearance would have helped him rebrand the image of an ex drug dealer from Queens to a successful rapper. Not only that, but it would have made his grandma super proud since she was a very big fan of Oprah. However, when he pitched the idea to Oprah, she declined and made it very clear that she wasn't interested in anything 50 Cent had going on. 50 took this rejection very personally and accused Oprah of being against black music, especially the type that he makes, and even called her an Oreo, black on the outside, white on the inside. I think she caters to older white women. She was completely against everything that was in my music, so she ain't never gonna have me on that show. I'm never gonna reach that platform, which is confirmation of being a huge success. So I just said, okay, if we can't be friends, then at least let's be enemies. Aside from calling her out and calling her a Karen, he decided to also be petty by naming his dog after Oprah and his cat after Oprah's bestie, Gail King. Named after the Oprah and your cat's name yeah, is? And then Gail. But Gail, then- okay, Gail. <laughs> Unfortunately, none of 50's attempts to call out Oprah actually worked because just a few years later, she did something even worse to Monique by blackballing her. Monique and Oprah's feud started way back in 2009 when Monique appeared in the movie Precious, which was produced by Oprah and Tyler Perry and directed by Lee Daniels. The real issue came in after Oprah and Tyler started forcing Monique to go on a press run for the film with no payment whatsoever. Monique was not rocking with the BS and told them she wasn't gonna do it for free since it wasn't a part of her contract. According to Monique, she was only paid 50K for the entire movie, which was barely enough, and now they wanted her to leave her family behind and go around the world to promote the movie for free? However, Tyler and Oprah did not take Monique's refusal well at all and started tarnishing her image in the industry by spreading a narrative about her being difficult to work with. Monique claims Tyler even went as far as to damage her reputation to director David Tolbert so she would lose acting jobs as some form of punishment. You were you had well, difficult I, demands. I want to address it for the order that it went in. And when Mr. Daniels say I had these demands, it shocked me because I was saying to the screen, Don, please ask him what the demands were. Mm-hmm. And actually, there were no demands. There was a request from the movie studio, and they called and requested that I fly to France for the Cannes Film Festival. I simply said I respectfully declined because if you can remember at the time, there was a talk show called The Monique Show. I was doing a comedy tour. I was actually in the award season of the awards and I'm also a wife and I'm a mommy. So when they called, I had a couple days just downtime. I wanted to spend that with my husband and my kids. So when we said we respectfully declined, the movie studio called back again and they said, okay, well, we'll upgrade her hotel room. And my husband simply said again, we respectfully declined. We're gonna, she's gonna take this time mm-hmm. with her family. Yeah. Well, when the third call came and they said, what is it gonna take to get Monique to France, to the Cannes Film Festival? And my husband said, is there a number associated with it? And they said, oh, we would never pay for anyone to do any promotions for a movie. And we said we understood because what people didn't know was I was paid $50,000 to do the movie Precious. And it really wasn't about the money and I'm not complaining because I signed up to do it with my friend. Yeah, but you're you're saying that because you didn't have the money to do this on your own. Is that what you're saying? That you needed to feed your family and pay your bills? I think that's what America says. I think we all say I can't do it for free. So when the movie studio says we can't set a precedence and pay you to do this, we didn't have an issue with them. Okay. But that's when the reports came that now Monique is being demanding and she's being difficult. They had a request. We simply had a request. And we they said they couldn't do it. And we said we understood. 
that was it. While Monique was talking about all this, she received from pushback from everybody in the industry except for 50 Cent. He was the only one who stood with her. He posted a photo of her on his IG with the caption, all in favor of Monique being back on top, say make it happen 50. Stop effing around. I went to see Monique stand up during Super Bowl weekend. It was so good. She had me in a trance. You gotta go check her out. He then made another post demanding for Tyler and Oprah to apologize to Monique for what they had done to her because he was gonna do everything in his power to bring her back on top again. He said, I'm sure Oprah Winfrey and Tyler Perry would not want to continue to allow their influence to damage Monique's career. This has gone on for way too long. So now would be a great time to apologize because I'm gonna put her back on. Green light gang, I don't miss. Oh, but he wasn't done because while Taraji was calling out Oprah for how awful she had been treated, 50 Cent did the exact same thing that he did for Monique by reposting a screenshot of an article about Taraji to his IG and announced that he was ready to work with Taraji. He said in the caption, they dropped the ball, F em. Taraji, I'm ready to work. Let's get it. One thing 50 will always do is stand up and speak for black people. He is not afraid to get into war with nobody, even if that's Oprah herself. But get this y'all, after Taraji basically dragged Oprah for filth and had literally everybody in they mama praising and supporting her, she backtracked on everything she said and started praising Oprah for being a beacon of light. Yeah, the same Oprah she just called out for not paying her. Like, you cannot make this up. She said, Miss Oprah has been nothing less than a steady and solid beacon of light to all the cast to color purple. She told me personally to reach out to her for anything I needed, and I did. One call, one conversation, and one decision-making black woman to make me feel heard. People didn't fall for this one bit, and immediately started speculating that Oprah and the studios forced Taraji into making this post, so the color purple would not end up flopping from people boycotting. Once Oprah saw that Taraji's post didn't get people to be on her side, she took things to a whole nother level and posted her own photo of her and Taraji on her IG with the caption, I've long admired Taraji. She can make you laugh, cry, cheer, and feel everything in between. But I had no idea she could sing. Taraji the actress, a force. Taraji the singer, a complete revelation. Taraji, the stage is now yours and I already see the standing ovations for you. I'm fiercely welcoming Taraji to the purple sisterhood. Chell, Oprah saw everybody was eating her up and acted very quickly. Oh, but that's not all. She recently also teased a sit down interview with Taraji on her show and people could not help but wonder if this was just another desperate attempt to convince the public that she's not the mean greedy Hollywood puppet. She's actually proven herself to be over the years. I heard that after you were cast, that you prayed to God to help you to believe in yourself. Yes. Which is so interesting because like you are Taraji P. Henson, <laughs> you've done all of these iconic roles, people see in their minds, this is Cookie walking in there. Right. Why were you nervous about this? Well, for me, one, I don't pick a role unless it scares me. Ah. Because fear is something to overcome. Mm -hmm. And I will be transformed in a way. And if I'm transformed, then the audience will be. So it has to move me to a place of fear. Like mm -hmm. if, if I'm not scared, then it's like, maybe that's too easy for me. Wow. Th it has to be challenging for me because I have to challenge the audience. Yeah. Jill, Oprah's PR team saw all the commotion online and decided to pull a stunt. Fans think she only dragged Taraji into this little show for damage control and Taraji is playing right alongside it because she's scared of being blackballed like 50 and Monique. You can even see how uncomfortable she is just by watching the clip. Now as for 50 
and Monique, sources claim that all this BS orchestrated by Oprah to save herself, she's using and manipulating to play on with this so it'll save her image, just like she's using and manipulating everybody around her to get what she wants. They also accused Oprah of playing dirty and using other people as a stepping stone to get to where she is today. But can we really blame them for coming at Oprah like this? Everybody who's ever worked with Oprah rarely has anything nice to say. She has a very long track record of using people to get whatever she wants. Now, as usual, people had a whole lot to say about this mess, and baby, they did not hold back from dragging Oprah to Phil, like this person who said, I expected this from Oprah, but I did not expect it from Tyler Perry. Very sad and disappointing to hear about what I call straight up financial abuse. I am shocked that Monique got paid so little for that amazing movie. Another person said, this is why I love 50 Cent. He doesn't hold nothing back with anything. He keeps it 100. I used to like Oprah when I was younger and used to watch the TV shows with my mom. I thought she really stood up for black people, especially strong black women. But I see now and been seeing it for years that she only cares about herself, not letting anybody else grow in their own way to become their own legends. I lost total respect for Oprah and Tyler Perry, but now I wanna know your thoughts on this whole mess. What do y'all think about 50 Cent and Monique going off on Oprah? And do you think this whole mess is gonna be the downfall of Oprah? Y'all been knew what to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.